Hello there. We're gonna go over everything you need to know and why you need to know it to make great quality recordings. And of course, nothing is more basic than uh, talking into your microphone from a reasonable distance, which is like 20 to 30 centimeters uh, for most microphones. And uh, investing in a microphone arm is a really good call because uh, hunching over your uh, table and giving yourself a backache is just not a way to live. <clears throat> of course, uh, some microphones can be uh, placed on the table, so this is uh, up to uh, the person and the microphone. And uh, in OBS, you don't really have to do much other than select your microphone. If you don't select it, then you may make a recording without having <laughs> your microphone active. Or you may make a recording with the wrong microphone. And even if you go with default, and by default, the right uh, microphone is selected. But your webcam might have a mic microphone as well. OBS might just derp one day. And uh, you make a recording with your webcam microphone, which uh, you will not like. <clears throat> And of course, if you're talking over anything, then you want to adjust the desktop audio as well. So it's uh, a quieter than your speaking volume. You don't want to be shouting over videos and gameplay. So uh, setting it uh, minus 12 is a pretty good starting point. Uh, you can adjust it later <coughs> if necessary. So we are finally at uh, the microphone. And as you guys can tell, I'm mostly in the red range and we're hitting minus one here. And uh, that is a good reason for that. Uh, YouTube recommends and content sites uh, recommend that you basically come in as loud as possible without going over zero. And the uh, minus one is the safe uh, safe zone. Uh, because people can always make you quieter, but they cannot make you louder. If your 100% is just not loud enough for them, then uh, they will just click away. And they don't care. Because uh, it's, it's just unsalvageable. But your input volume should not be in the red. This is the end result. This is what we are going for. Just a consistently high volume that people can hear uh, easily. But what you want to aim for, uh, for the input volume, is uh, coming in in the, red, in the yellow zone. At the end of the yellow zone is a pretty good uh, approach. Uh, minus 10 and minus 12 is the usual recommendation. So I'm just going to turn off the filters. <clears throat> And you want to make a test recording in such a way that you peak between minus 10 and minus 12. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind, that if you uh, make a recording uh, while you're more excited, then uh, then it's not going to be set up properly. Because if you're like recording for six hours, then you're probably going to be lower energy than doing like a, a one minute uh, test session. So you want to test yourself in a way you will be speaking. So I'm just gonna go for that. Hey guys. So I've managed to hit minus 12. First, first attempt, I just spoke normally. And that's probably how I would speak when I'm just uh, recording for hours and hours. <clears throat> and uh, what are we gonna do with that? The good news is that if you follow my, my advice about uh, minus 12 and minus 10, you can copy paste the rest of my settings uh, without really changing them. So that's great. Of course, if we uh, change the input volume, uh, you want to be changing it here and uh, make sure that uh, you come in between minus uh, 12 and minus 10. Uh, th that's the peak, not, not the average, but, but that's the peak. And once you have that, we can uh, try fixing the volume. Of course, one of the easiest way to do that is just add the gain on it. <clears throat> but this will lead to issues. This makes the entire range uh, louder, and that means we are occasionally pushed over zero, which is something we never want. So there we add a limiter on it, and this is how you add a filter. And the basic limiter is just totally fine. You just uh, change the, the threshold on it. So let's remove, and now we fix the volume, kind of, but we're gonna go into it later as well. <clears throat> and we have a limit, and the order. Of the filters matters a lot because they execute from top uh, to bottom. So first, second, uh, third, fourth, and fifth. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll go over every single one of them. So we managed to fix the the volume, and uh, we are never going over zero. Although the limiter uh, might not be perfect, most limiters don't necessarily stop at minus one. They might go to like minus zero point seven. They can be imperfect. That that's why you have some headroom there. It, you can theoretically set it at zero. But uh, it is better to say that minus one. So I'm just going to stop talking for one second. 
we can uh, see the volume jumping around. So we want to uh, clean up the input. One thing you can do, and it's a pretty good option, is adding a noise suppression on it. Although I do highly recommend putting the noise suppression first, because uh, if you put it later, then it might cause issues. It might cut out your voice. Uh, like if you put it after the expander. And we can tell that simply adding a noise suppression on it, a little bit cleaned up my voice and uh, the microphone volume is jumping around at a lower range near minus 55. But of course, this is not good enough. And uh, you have an alternative uh, noise suppression here, the speaks, low CPU usage, but it kind of makes you sound like a bucket. So I really not recommend it. The best option by far is adding an expander. <clears throat> What the expander does is that below a certain threshold, which is minus 42 dB, which is keep in mind, uh, 30 decibels below our intended peak. So that this gives us 30 decibels uh, of range, which is going to be just fine. We are just getting rid of all, all uh, noise. So the entire microphone uh, range is now clear. <clears throat> And uh, we are just getting rid of the noise when we are talking and uh, when we are not talking. And this is very much different from a noise gate. Noise gate just turns off the microphone basically uh, below a certain threshold, which is 42. But it doesn't really clean up your voice. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really help. It, it is basically pointless. <clears throat> and uh, the expander also gets rid of the clicks here. I've set it up in such a way. I'll demonstrate. that it gets rid of most of the clicks. You guys might hear uh, an occasional mouse click uh, now and then, but other than that, all the noise in the background is uh, uh, illuminated, and of course the incoming uh, signal is cleared up. <clears throat> so this sounds pretty good, but there is one potential problem, is that we add 10 gain on the entire range. That means that we came in at minus 12, and uh, you guys can take my word for it. Like the, the range of your, your speech is going to be, well, you're not going to come in at minus 12 all the time. <clears throat> you're, sometimes you're going to come in at minus 25. Sometimes you're going to be at minus 30. So at, you, you at least have like a uh, 20 decibel range. And uh, imagine that even if you add 10 uh, dB gain on that, that means sometimes you're coming in at minus 32. And even if you add a 10 dB gain on it, you're going to be coming in at minus 22. Which is uh, which can be quiet. Like you want to be coming in at least in the yellow range. So that's what we want to do. We want to up the lows of our range, <clears throat> and that is exactly what the compressor does. So what are we doing here? So above minus thirty-two dB, which is over here, at uh, twenty dB below our intended threshold. I mean intended peak. <clears throat> if you go over that. Uh, we make <laughs> we make the the voice uh, quieter. Now, it's probably best explained with an example. So, uh, if we were to peak at twelve dB, we instead we go twenty dB over the minus thirty two threshold. That means that we end up peaking at uh, twenty two instead. So we go twenty over thirty two, and that the ratio is two. So the 20 gets divided by 2, so we end up at 22. So if I element the gain, then we can see that, uh, well, I'm talking uh, a little bit louder here, but uh, I'm mostly in the 20 range right now. And the entire point of this is that we can add a bigger gain on the whole range after that. We are not hitting the limiter with uh, the force of uh, the sun, uh, which uh, is going to improve the voice quality. And actually gives us some of a range, I suppose. Because our goal is not to eliminate uh, all range <laughs> in our voice, but to make sure that the lows are a little bit higher and uh, people can hear us. So instead of uh, coming in at uh, minus 22, uh, po possibly like before, our, our lowest uh, point will be like minus 15 and the highest will not be affected really. So that's kind of what we are aiming for here with the compressor. And uh, that's it. You guys are awesome, make some awesome recordings and have fun.